Google Ads was built on search, with the goal of Google being to be able to match a user's search inquiry with highly relevant ads that were taking them directly to a highly relevant landing page where they could go through and purchase the product or book in or order the service that they had searched for. And this is why conducting keyword research in the right way has been and will always be very important if you're gonna see success in your Google Ads campaigns. Now, I do wanna stress is that over the past 12 months, Google Ads has made some pretty drastic changes to the way that their match types work in Google Ads. So it is even now more important for you to make sure that you're completing this keyword research in the right way. Because even if you've had a certain way that you've completed your keyword research for the last couple of years, it may not be the right way of doing things right now. My name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process and how you can go through and complete correct keyword research for your Google Ads search campaigns. Now, completing your keyword research in the right way is one very important step in order to have successful Google Ads campaigns, but it's not the only step. So what I wanna do is I wanna help you right now and give you free access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And this is a checklist that I still use today because it lets me know exactly what I need to be optimizing in my Google Ads campaigns every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And if you would like to get your free access right now, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. But with all that said, let's get straight into today's teaching where I'm gonna be taking you through that step-by-step -step process of how you can go through and complete correct keyword research. Now, as you may be well aware, there are three different types of keyword match types in Google Ads. These are broad match, phrase match, and exact match. And right now, let me show you how each of these work. So this information we're looking at right now is from the Google Ads website. And this breaks down how the three different keyword match types function. And they've given the example of, if someone was to search lawn mowing service and you were to use the broad match setting for this keyword, it says that ads may show on searches that relate to your keyword. So it would even show for related search terms like lawn aeration prices. Now that is different to lawn mowing, but Google would still deem that to be in the related field. And then if you were to go down to the phrase match, and that will only trigger your ads for searches that include the meaning of your word. So it would block out search terms for lawn aeration prices, but it would show for things like lawn mowing service near me. So it's got that lawn mowing service and then it's added in that extra near me or hire company to mow the lawn. And then when you go over to your exact match, it's gonna be a little bit tighter in that it has to have the same meaning. So it's got examples of lawn mowing service and grass cutting service. So they run this across where broad match is very loose, whereas phrase match is moderate and exact match is tight. Now I know that these are the examples that Google is giving. The only thing that I would say is that exact match keywords do actually operate a lot looser than what Google gives the example here. And in fact, I would even argue that the exact match keyword of lawn mowing service would still trigger ads for searches around like lawn aeration prices and it could even potentially trigger ads for some of your competitors. And the reason for why I say that is because I want you to keep that in mind for when we get to further steps in this training, especially when it comes to breaking our keyword themes into different ad groups, that point there is gonna become very important. Now that you have an overview of how keywords work and the different types of match types function in Google, I wanna now take you through the step-by-step -step process of how you can complete keyword research for your upcoming Google Ads campaign. And to do that, we need to go straight into our Google Ads account. Let's go. So the keyword research that we're gonna be completing is on this villa resort in Bali. And this resort offers one bedroom and two bedroom Seminyak villas. So what we wanna do is we wanna go into our Google Ads account and you just wanna go into this tools and settings. And then when you're in tools and settings, you wanna go over to your keyword planner. And then when you're in the keyword planner, you wanna go into this function of discover new keywords. And the reason for why we're using discover new keywords and not getting search volume and forecasts is because we just wanna have a couple of different keyword themes that we wanna get the data from and Google will give us some extra records recommendations. So then from there, we just need to go through and type in a collection of keywords that we think a user would use in order to find our business. So what I've done in here is I've written in one bedroom villas Seminyak and two bedroom villas Seminyak because this is the core products that we're offering. And what you can even do in here is you can go through and cut and copy the website URL 
paste it in here. And then what this will do is that this will give Google some further ideas on the type of keywords to recommend. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can change the location. We're just gonna use Australia, but if you wanted to add extra countries, you could do this in here. And then we click get results. Okay, and then when you come through to here, you'll see a couple of things. First, if you wanted to, if you wanted to add in any extra keyword themes, you can do this. We don't offer three bedroom, four bedroom, or five bedroom villas, so we're not gonna add those. And I'm finding these ones are just too broad, so that's why we're not adding these in here. And then when you come down to here is that you'll see firstly the keywords that you have provided and then Google will also go down and give you some other keyword ideas. So what we want to do from here is we just want to go through and select the keywords which we would like to add. Now some of these I know these are other competitors names so we don't want to add these in. Once again we don't want to add in three bedroom. You may want to add in some things like best Villa Seminyak and private Villa Seminyak and then some further variations. Now the reason for why I've selected these keywords is for two reasons. Firstly, I know that they are relevant. So we didn't go through and select things like our competitors' names or other search terms like three bedroom villa seminac because that's not something that we offer. The other thing that I did go through and have a look at is I went through and had a look at these average monthly searches. And if you scroll over this little graph, it does give you a little bit of information about the seasonality of what happens. Now, because this is a tourism product and Bali is in a tropical climate, we do get some different seasonality for this product. And then what you can also look at is you can look at the year on year change. Obviously this has increased so much because for the previous two years, there was some COVID restrictions, so there's a lot more interest in the market. But this is the big thing that you're looking at here is the competition. Now, this gives you three different levels of low, medium, and high. Obviously, high meaning there is a lot more competition. And then the other thing that you wanna be looking at is that you wanna be looking at these bids. And this just gives you an idea of the type of cost that you'd be paying per bid. So the top of page bid, which is those positions three and four, is 77 cents. Whereas the top of page bid is that number one or two position, you're gonna be paying nearly three times the price. But the one thing I do wanna stress with this data, especially the average monthly searches, and also when we're talking about these bid ranges, is that this is all indexed data, meaning that it's looking at the history of what has happened and not what could potentially be happening over the coming weeks and months. So I just wanna stress this, that you only use this as a guide. So when you're looking at the search terms of one bedroom villas Bali, it doesn't mean that there's only 70 searches a month versus the two bedroom villas Bali, it doesn't mean that there's only 210. But what you can draw from that is that this search terms of two bedroom villas Bali has about three times the type of traffic as one bedroom villas Bali. So once you've selected all of your keywords, you then wanna go into this new ad group and I'm just gonna type in Bali, click create and then you want to add these keywords and then after you've added these keywords you can either click right here view save keywords or you can go up to here into your forecast now this will give you a really quick forecast now this is put $40 a day as a bit of an average but if you only had $15 a day to spend you could change this to $15 and then this does give you a rough update of the amount of clicks that you would get for that cost. But what I wanna do here is that now that we've gone through and selected our keywords, the next important step is that we need to categorize and put some structure around these keywords. So we don't wanna go through and click create campaign straight away because we firstly wanna download these and we wanna download these historical metrics into a CSV or a Google Sheets. I use CSV just for the pure reason that I find it easier to edit and change this file. Now, once you've downloaded those keyword ideas is into Google Sheets or into a CSV file, the next step is that we need to go through and structure and order our keywords into different ad groups. And if you're unaware what ad groups are, ad groups are collections of similar keywords that you can then write different ad copies that relate to those keywords and then also dictate which landing page you want those keywords to go to. Remembering what I said right at the start of this video is that Google Ads is built on search and that the goal of Google has always been to match highly relevant ads to highly relevant landing pages. So this is why it's really, really important that when you complete your keyword research, you wanna go through and spend the time to break those keywords into individual keyword themes inside of individual ad groups that are directing people to targeted ad copy and targeted landing pages. So once you've gone through and downloaded your keyword file into that Google Sheet, or this one is a CSV file, this is what it would look like. 
And then what I've done is I've gone ahead and put this into some different keyword themes. So what I did do, this is just my personal preference, is I like to add in an extra two columns, one for campaign and one for ad group, which I've added to the left here. And then what I also do do is after the keyword, I add in another column and that's where I put in the URL. And then this just allows me to plan out where I'm gonna be sending these different keyword themes to. So what I did through here is that I got all of the keywords with one bedroom or one bedroom villas Bali or Seminyak and I grouped them all together in one campaign through here with one ad group. And then the same thing for the two bedrooms, I grouped them in here. And then finally for all of those other general keyword themes. Now remember when we spoke at the start of this video about how Google has recently changed its keyword match types. And before this change in the one bedroom villa campaign, you would have potentially had two or three different ad groups. And same with the two bedroom villa, you would have had at least two different ad groups, breaking down the people who are using the letter two versus the other people who are typing it out. And same with the villas general. And this is what your ad group and keyword structure would have looked like. Is you would have had your total Google Ads account, then you would have had your one bedroom villa campaign, your two bedroom villa campaign, your Bali general, and your Seminyak general. And under the one bedroom villas, you would have broken your keywords down to those keywords which we're talking about one bedroom villa Bali and the other ones which are talking about one bedroom villa Seminyak. But because now what I'm finding very, very much that if you were to type in one bedroom villa Bali or one bedroom villa Seminyak, even on an exact match, is that it would still trigger the ad. So the new recommendation that I would be giving is that this is how you would structure your campaign. In that, in your one bedroom villas, you would just have one campaign for your one bedroom villa and one ad group, which would have all of these keywords in it. Same with the two bedroom villa and then same with the villas in general. And then as you can see my keyword planning, you can see here that I've got different URLs. So I'm setting all of these keywords in relation to the one bedroom villas to the one bedroom villa Seminyak page and then two bedroom villa sending it to the two bedroom villa Seminyak page and then we've got the others going into our general homepage. So that's the new format that I would be using for my Google Ads account. So that's the step-by-step -step process that I use to not only go through and complete my keyword research, but to also break my different keywords into different ad groups using that one keyword theme method, which makes sure that my campaigns are structured in a way that's gonna be helping to achieve Google's goal, which is that they wanna match the user search term to highly relevant ads and also highly relevant landing pages. And remember, once you've got your keyword research done, you need to know how to correctly optimize your Google Ads campaign. And if you want to get free access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. And if you've now completed your keyword research and you're ready to go through and set up your Google Ads search campaign and you want some extra guidance in how to complete that in an easy to follow step-by-step -step manner, just like I've taken you through on your keyword research, all you need to do, follow this link right here. Thank you again, see you next time.